National, Act remain on track to form government with support from NZ First, poll shows. National and Act will need to call on NZ First if they are to form the next government, the latest One News variant poll suggests. National support has stayed steady on 36% which would deliver 46 seats in Parliament, however, Act's support has fallen 2% to 10, meaning 13 seats. So they would need NZ First's 8 seats to reach the required 61 to form a government. On September 25 Christopher Luxon announced he would be willing to work with NZ First if necessary, but his preference was a National Act coalition. The centre-left parties have maintained the same level of support, the poll found. National, 36%, steady, 46 seats. Labour, 26%, steady, 33 seats. Greens, 13%, steady, 17 seats. Act, 10%, down 2 points, 13 seats. NZ First, 6%, steady, 8 seats. TE Patty Mowry, 2%, steady, 3 seats. The Opportunities Party, top, has edged up to 2%, NZ Loyal remains on 1%, with Aotearo Legalis Cannabis and Freedom New Zealand and New Zeal all attracting 1% each. Some 10% said they did not know, or refused to say, who they would vote for, these were excluded from the percentage and seat calculations. In the preferred Prime Minister stakes national leader Christopher Luxon has scored a 3% rise in support to 26% and edged ahead of Labour's Chris Hipkins who is on 25, up 2 points. It is the first time Luxon has been the top choice for PM in the poll. The poll surveyed 1,000 eligible voters and was weighted for demographics, with a margin of error of 3.1% at the 95% confidence interval. It was conducted between September 30 and October 3. Christopher Luxon, 26%, up 3 points. Chris Hipkins, 25%, up 2 points. Winston Peters, 4%, steady. David Seymour, 3%, down 2 points. Chloe Swarbrick, 2%, up 1 point. James Shaw, 2%, up 1 point. Marama Davidson, 1%, down 1 point. Nicola Willis, 1%, steady. Liz Gunn, 1%, steady. Ray Wiry waited high. 1% up 1 point subscribe our youtube channel and click our bell icon for new videos